Welcome back. First of all, the plaza is Dr. Sharita Tyre, founder of Bruised and Unbroken, and its affiliate, um, Brown Girls Rock. Did I get it right? That's right. All yes. right. <laughs> took a lot out of me. Hi, and in her lovely brand ambassador, Savannah is here. Welcome back. Welcome back, Savannah. How are you? And Doc, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? I'm well. I'm well. Okay, let, let's hop right on to it. Okay. What do you guys? I, I, I've been watching from afar, uh -huh. and I, I see all the lovely things that you're doing with brown, black, and brown girls. Tell everyone about it. Okay, so Brown Girls Rock is a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. um, geared toward the empowerment of our brown girls. Mm -hmm. um, and let me start by saying this is an all-inclusive event. Mm -hmm. um, so. All races, nationalities are able to come to this event, um, but we specialize in helping our brown girls with life circumstances, life okay. issues. Um, so we provide fee free therapy at this event, um, the fun stuff, the moon bounces, pony rides. Um, we also showcase our brown girls, our talented brown girls. So mm -hmm. we have a group called uh, the Trumpet Chicks. Um, they play trumpets and it's a full live band full out band um, they come each year we have baby groove which is a um, a younger version of the lincoln university dancers um, so they are coming this year um, we have face painting move mountains pony rides we have um, of course vendors will be there retail vendors as well as brown girl authors um, and we actually still have some open spots for you got a any whole thing going on. brown girls who off their books and want to showcase their books at this event that they're welcome to do so. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what day is this? Yeah. So it is July the 15th. Okay. We do have a meet and greet, um, which is a skating party on July the 14th, mm -hmm. um, which is the day before. But it's July 15th. Um, they can get tickets at browngirlsrock.org. Mm -hmm. um, Again, this is a nonprofit organization, so the funding comes from um, a lot of it. I've been funding myself, myself and my mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. um, over the last few years. But we just recently got some funds and um, to help us to be able to service more brown right. girls. Right. Um, transportation, if transportation is needed, we are providing transportation from our Wilmington location. Mm -hmm. Um, shuttle service, so there should be no reason why you should not have your daughter in right. the building. All barriers are broken. All broken, and so the age range is from three to seventeen. Okay. Um, so we have things for the three-year-olds to do that are age appropriate, all the way up to the seventeen-year-olds. Um, and I got the idea, so I write children's books. Okay. But my children's books are not about fairy tale princesses and flying dragons because right. that's not real life, right? Right. Um, so I talk about the taboo topics. Mm. Um, so my books, um, Brown Skin Girl is about um, affirmations and for our brown girls. Mm. Um, the Sad Day is about death and, and dying. So um, recently my brother passed away in 2021 and I had to explain this to my daughter. Right. So this, um, but how many kids have experienced death, especially since COVID right, right. over the last few years? So last year, they actually used that book in our therapy sessions. Mm -hmm. nice. um, Mommy Went Away is about parents going away for whether it's drug addictions or to jail. Oh, wow. um, so this explains to a child, how do you explain that to mm -hmm. a child? Um, Daddy lives in a different house, is about divorce. Um, and you know, daddy living somewhere else or having to move out. Um, I see what you mean, like like not not fairy tales. This is real, real life, life yeah. issues mm -hmm. that you, that you really have to talk to to you know someone like Savannah's age and mm -hmm. let them know what's going on because kids today are they're trauma. Right, trauma. it's trauma. Yeah, exactly, right. it's trauma. Um, being biracial, I'm a product of being biracial. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Oh, he just trade Jamaican. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so just knowing where we fit in, yeah. like growing up, I was, I felt like I was too dark for my Hispanic side. And I felt like I was, my hair was too stringy for my black side. So mm. I was like, okay, where do I fit in? So finding my place as being a biracial child, 
Um, my favorite is the I Love Me at, um, coloring book. So this is affirmations. Um, each day there's affirmations for our oh, little brown beautiful. girls. Um, and it's a coloring book for them. So this is kind of where the festival kind of derived from. Right. Because I wanted to reach more. These books are really appropriate for ages 3 to 10. Right. Um, but at the festival, we go all the way up to 17. Nice. Wow. Um, and we hit on a lot of topics, etiquette, teaching girls, um, proper etiquette, how to represent yourself bullying, um, how to be a good friend. Um, there's so many topics that we cover mm -hmm. to help them grow into young ladies nice. um, and not have to deal with some of the stuff us adults have to currently deal with or help them to navigate through it. So first off, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have two daughters. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. We're, mm -hmm. gonna, we're gonna come to the event. Mm -hmm. But my question is, what made you decide to even start all of this? Yeah. As opposed to just focusing on, focusing on Savannah mm -hmm. and making sure she grew up to be, you know, the successful woman that you wanted, what made you say, I'm gonna go out and help other black girls rock as well? Mm -hmm. So for me, it was more of my own trauma. Mm -hmm. So as a child growing up, I had so many traumatic um, life experiences that for me, I felt like, okay, this has got to be bigger than me. Mm -hmm. This has to be bigger than me. What is my purpose, God? Like, what is my purpose in life? What do I need to do? Um, and so that's when I got the vision to, to branch out and to help others, to talk about my trauma um, in hopes that it will help another girl. Right. Um, right. And even if it just helps one, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, but just getting it out there and then talking to girlfriends of mine and um, I have a wonderful, wonderful therapist um, who she brings several other therapists with her to these sessions um, and just talking to her about how to reach these young girls that and give, providing a safe place for them. Because right. not every girl can talk to their parents. Right. And Perfect. And what you're saying that, is there an age that you would suggest for young girls to maybe start seeing a therapist? Maybe if their parents see that so I think that's going to be circumstantial. Okay. So like for her, um, just like she experienced the death of her uncle, um, a child that age, I would recommend them to see a therapist to talk about it. If the parents don't know how to reach them, you know, mm -hmm. kids tend to shut down and stay closed in. Um, but definitely teenage girls. Yeah. It's those teenage girls starting at about 12 and up mm -hmm. um, is when you're starting to kind of feel yourself, trying yeah. to figure yourself out, find your place, see where you fit in, um, and just learning to mm -hmm. love yourself. Because that's, I mean, it's, you, I don't know if you heard about it a few months ago, a little girl um, in New Jersey end up, you know, killing herself because she was being bullied at mm -hmm. school and she just didn't have that outlet. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I'm not, here to say whether or not if she did, if she would be here, right. but our hopes is to reach these girls, to, to provide that outlet for them. It's so different um, with the new generation growing up than how we were growing up. We didn't have social media, we didn't have this, mm -hmm. um, and now you, we have to be one step ahead of, of not just not being a friend, but literally being a guardian and a parent. Mm -hmm. Correct. You know, what advice would you give, let's say the mothers, right? The mothers that are raising these, the, the, the little girls that don't know. What would you, what would you recommend to the know? The funny thing is the first year we actually had um, a speaker come in and speak to just the mothers. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm thinking about bringing that back in because mothers don't know how to reach their child. Right. I had all boys before I had Savannah. So this has been a test for me mm -hmm. what do I say what do I do what is the appropriate age when do we talk about things so that's why we encourage the mothers to come as well right. because we do provide support to them as well yeah. so they can learn okay how do I deal with this we have a mother-daughter panel at the festival where mothers are there mm -hmm. with their daughters and they're talking about topics my daughter won't talk to me she won't open up what do I do Right. And they talk about this right there on the panel at the festival um, because other girls are, I'm sure, are going through the same, same thing. thing. So it's, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's an event that's for everybody. Right. And, and, you know, you just, you don't want to miss it. You don't. Miss Savannah, can you tell everybody how old you are? Seven. Seven years old. Okay, I, this question is for you now. Speak up. How does it make you feel knowing that there are other little girls that are beautiful, that look like you, and you are inspiring them. How does that make you feel? Good. Why? Sorry, it's just us here. Why does it make you feel good? 
It's cool. I don't mean to put you in the spot. It's right. I got it. I see where it went around. She was on the right. Went, she was on the right. Listen, let me just say something. I'm a fellow brand ambassador as well, so we got to stick together. So don't even worry about it, all right? Thank you. I really appreciate what you're doing. I think this is amazing. I have a, my daughter, Madison, 10 years old. And, you know, as a dad, we're protectors, right? And we don't really know how to, even with fathers, we don't know how to talk to our daughters, right? Mm -hmm. I remember one day my daughter had an issue with her hair. Right, and she was going to a P, uh, um, P was it P I P B W I? Man, make sure you get them letters. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. She was going to right, and um, she came back home and was like, "I don't like my hair anymore." And I was like, "Hold up!" I hit the bat signal, beep, and sisters came out of everywhere. Was like, "No, let me tell you about your hair. Your hair is beautiful. Your hair is this. Your hair is that." And then you find out when they get older, right? There's so much more that they're going through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh. And it, and it sounds like to me, and it's, it looks like to me, that you have every aspect hit. Mm -hmm. Like these are books that people don't write about. Yeah, the one that I can't seem to keep on the shelf is um, Secrets We Don't Keep. And that's kind of self-explanatory. It's yeah. about good touch, bad touch, abuse, <sighs> um, how to identify you know, who should be touching you and who shouldn't, you know, like, where? can where? you get these books? Let me ask you that. <laughs> there you we, go. We get these, this is, this is, this is, this might go down in Bible. So history. they will be at the festival. They'll be on sale at the festival. You can get them at Amazon, um, and you can also get them at the website, um, browngirlsrock.org. Okay. And yeah. then also, for the brown girls that can't make it to the festival, mm -hmm. daughters and mothers, do you provide other services for them? Let them know how they can get in contact with yeah. you. Yeah, so um, we are starting this year, we're starting our newsletter. Um, mm -hmm. But my goal, my vision is to have monthly um, events for these girls that they can attend, where they can get free therapy, um, where they can, we can take them on trips, whether it's colleges, um, but truth be told, every kid won't go to college so we right. also want to do like humanities trips and just showing them things outside of Delaware yeah, because oh. there's more to life than so just again. you know expanding showing them the world in the meantime helping them with their issues all right before we get out of here one piece of advice you would give any woman um listen if I could say anything to any woman, any mother, is to just listen to your child. And don't be so quick to over talk or to shut them down. Just listen. And sometimes that's the hardest thing for us as women and as mothers is wow. just to listen. Yeah. Um, because the, the kids, they just want to be heard and know that they're being heard. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're doing an amazing job. Thank Again, you I've been so watching much. from the sideline, and I'm always seeing it. And I was like, I wonder what she's doing. And lo and behold, now we know you're, you're another Caitlyn superhero. Superhero, there you, you go. Know, <laughs> Caitlyn superhero go. that's making an impact. Thank you. Uh, really appreciate it. All right, that's your camera right there, community camera. You got 30 seconds. You can do anything you want. Invite, uh, talk okay. about it. Um, Brown Girls Rock. Get your tickets at browngirlsrock.org. You can, um, if you need transportation, um, the professional services owner, my husband, Mr. Priest Tyer, <laughs> um, is providing transportation for our girls to get to this event because it is in Middletown. So if you need transportation, again, visit browngirlsrock.org, send us an email, give us a call, um, and just have your daughter in the building. If you can't afford this event, the tickets are $20, but if you can't afford it, please contact us. We don't want any girl left behind. Um, so just shoot us an email, give us a call, and we'll make it happen. Thank you, Doctor. Great job. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. Woo! They got me chills, yeah, right? Man. Let me see those books again. Let me it's hold the books. I want to make sure that we, everyone can just see. Oh, and shout out to my wonderful team. I have a wonderful team. Uh, our board is just amazing. Team make make the dream work. Make, yeah. make the dream work. You got a coloring book. <laughs> you got a whole coloring book. I want yeah. I want you to see. I want everyone to see this illustration. And you know you have some books that's just not put together well. Yeah. This is put together this is different. really well. Yeah, for sure. So again, while we're showing, I'm telling where they can find the books. Um, BrownGirlsRock.org, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, um, or at the festival. At the festival. At the festival. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Next up on the plaza, Robbie Jester is in the building, and he brought. 
He brought yeah, it. Cause you I'm, smell it? Uh, yeah, bro. Spent yeah, 10 yeah, minutes been, been time. Minute, yeah, it's breakfast. But this was a great first start to us. We don't want to, I don't want you to think we's rushing to the food. The big boys are out. We'll be right back after this message. <laughs> 